Hey y'all, back again. Welcome back to the channel. I guess they call this thing on YouTube. Uh, like I told you in the last video, it uh, seems to be easier to post them here and then share the links. So, and I'm going to keep on trying this thing out and see how it goes. But uh, <coughs> a little bit of an update. We're still at the shop here. Well, it's only a little after eight. Uh, but update for the race, 2022 20, Great Plains Buick Challenge, Kearney Raceway Park, Kearney, Nebraska. It's the weekend of August 26th, 7th, and 28th. We're still here. We're still going to race. We're still Buick. It's what we do out here. And we're going to keep on, keep on keeping on. But uh, uh, first, I guess, towards the top of the list for this video, hopefully by now a lot of you have seen the flyer that we did. Uh, big shout out, I guess they say, uh, to my son Clint for doing it even after I altered it and changed it, I don't know, four or five times on him. Uh, he did a good job. I like it. It's cool. We got a flyer to pass out now. Take that, print it, uh, hang it up in your local convenience store, grocery store, whatever you got to do, wherever you might think. Pass those flyers out. I would like to see, like to see a lot of them get passed out. Maybe we'll pick up some new people, some more friends to come and enjoy the weekend with us. Uh, quick rundown. I got my cheat sheet. I got my notebook here with me. Um, August 26th is our is our social time. The track's not hot. Uh, the crew will be there getting ready for the weekend's events, but they let us come in, drop trailers, park. Uh, I, I guess if you're going to set up a, a motorhome or a camper at the track, uh, there's no hookups or any of that good stuff for your motorhome guys. But uh, they'll let you set up and come in, set up, drop trailers if you want to. We This is when we plan our barbecue social hour, meet, greet, whatever you want to call it, sit around. Uh, we've, we've stayed there and had fun and talked and visited and see old friends and make new ones, hopefully. Uh, track, they'll let us in at 6 o'clock, the gates, on Friday night. I'll be there a little bit earlier than that, usually. But the track crew, all of the track crew there, they have real jobs. They have, they have a life away from the track. They, uh, the KRP's not a big... NHRA track, a bigger track where they have an employee role. Uh, all the people, all the people that work the track, all the, all those people that you see running around, they have real jobs. They have day jobs. They, they work the track on the weekend because they love the sport. So I believe last video, I don't have the paper in front of me, but I, if I did, I'd go down the list of the folks that work the track. In the last video, if you want to go back and look, we mentioned them by name. I got the list from Joe. Uh, the the gang that works the track for them. But uh, anyways, Friday the 26th, that's our park and drop social hour. That's when we do our barbecue. Flyer says 7 o'clock for the barbecue. It'll be right around there somewhere. Um, again, free will donation. Make it worth, you know, make it worthwhile to Chris to keep doing this for us. Uh, I, I know she's recruited some help. We've rec recruited some help this, this year uh, to help her get it out, to help to help pre prepare it for us. So, uh, I, I may be biased, but probably definitely not a time to, to be tight. Chris, Chris works hard for this to get everybody fed, make sure everybody's fed. It's a big investment. So take care of her. Um, Saturday, the 27th, that's our day for the challenge. Uh, quarter mile dial in bracket racing sportsman tree. Um, it's a bracket race weekend. That's that's what that class is for. The belt will be back on the line. We have co-champions for the first time ever. Uh, Mike and Randy are co-champions of the belt now. Um, catastrophic failure for a guy last year as we were ready to go into the finals. So they decided they talked among they talk amongst themselves. They split it. And I think Randy kept the belt. I think that was the agreement Mike made. They split the they split the money, and uh, they they came to their own agreement. Made it real easy on us. It was it was very much appreciated out of those two, being easy to work with. But uh, quarter mile bracket class, our Buick belts back on the line. Uh, we are starting a couple hours earlier this year. I'm going to pay for that myself. Uh, 
instead of, uh, I'm not quite sure, the track, the track guys are always there, but on Saturday morning, but I think officially the track opens at noon, and we're going to start making time runs at 1, as opposed to 3, 3.30, like we did last year. So hopefully we'll get out a little bit earlier. Uh, for those of you all that want to travel back home, um, you'll, you'll have a little bit sooner head start. And it'll hopefully we outrun the weather because the dew seems to always set in about the time we're going to finals. So uh, on the line, of course, we'll have our prize monies. I can't tell you that total right now. I'm still talking to sponsors. Uh, hopefully that'll go up. Uh, the toolkit from Harold is back on the line. Perfect reaction time anytime that day in our Buick class. Time trials or eliminations. You you show me three O's on a time slip. Harold has very graciously donated a, a nice toolkit uh, to for that for that award. Uh, Randy Messenger's tree chopper award. That's back on the line. You get a trophy axe and a uh, hundred dollar bill. Best reaction time during eliminations wins you the axe. Uh, also, what else do we have here? A distance traveled award. Uh, it, it isn't much, but I'm going to throw, whoever comes the farthest, I'm going to throw you a $100 bill uh, to put fuel back in your rig to get you back home. It isn't much. Uh, fuel prices are crazy high right now. <clears throat> we won't get into that. Uh, it is what it is. You make it to the event, you come the farthest, I'm going to give you 100 bucks to try and help help get you back home. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, well, we'll say Sunday the 28th. That is NHRA.TV Challenge. NH, uh, the, something like that. It's, it's a little Wally race. Uh, we chose this weekend if you want to stay and run Carney's regular bracket classes, uh, you get a chance to win a Wally that weekend. Um, small tire. <clears throat> a small tire class we're still trying to build. This is an ideal for, idea from Bob at Finish Line. We decided this last year, right after last year's event, we wanted to try and build a heads-up small tire. It would be 28105 non-W or a 27560 uh, radial. Heads-up, Buick-bodied, Buick-powered with doors, and that's the rules. At any weight, any power adder, if you got you got a Buick with three or four nitrous different hits kits on it that's cool pro charger two single turbo twin turbo it doesn't matter uh, as long as it's Buick powered Buick bodied um, heads up eighth mile first one there wins we needed uh, we need eight cars to fill the class that was part of the agreement with Bob uh, and he's offered up a very good I think I mentioned in the last video 2500 win uh, an eight car field, it'd be three passes for 2,500 bucks. Uh, we still need, we got four or five maybe cars that have been in contact with me or Bob and uh, we've talked. Uh, still need two, three more. Uh, well, three, three, maybe four or three, uh, whatever. Uh, we have four or five. We have four or five cars, five, maybe six more cars we need. Um, we got to fill the class. We have, and I don't want to ruffle any feathers or anything, but obviously we're looking at other options. Um, if we have to alter the rules, we have talked about Buick bodied on small tires. We're about letting them in. Uh, Bob, as the sponsor for this, told me, that we give it a little bit more time, see if we can get some more interest up. So that's what I'm doing. Um, there are other options out there, but we'd really like to keep it. We'd like to see the fast Buicks come. That's, this isn't going to be, if this goes down and the fast Buicks show up, this isn't, uh, this isn't a seven or eight second eighth mile car. These, these are going to be fast cars. Uh, five bottom of the sixes probably. Uh, the hang it'll be no joke. So, but we will, uh, we're, like I said, Bob and I have talked. We're going to give it a little more time, see if we can get some more interest up. Uh, 
and see if we can fill the field Buick bodied and powered. If not, we'll pursue other options. I will, uh, con I've contacted a few guys about it, uh, and there is interest there. If we were to drop one of the one, one or the other of the of the rules, we'll, uh, we'll I'll keep you all informed. I'll let you know. But uh, for the meantime, Buick bodied, Buick powered, it's on twenty eight ten fives non W or 27560. Any weight, any power adder, we don't care. So if you're interested, send me a message, post up, let me know, and I'll, I'll be in contact with you. Um, sponsors list. Let's shoot down the sponsors list real quick. Southwest Feeders and Hayes Center. Uh, that's Randy Messenger. High Torque Racing Auto Body in Meriden, Kansas. That, that's Garrison. And also the upholstery shop. I believe it's actually in Topeka. Uh, that's Mike again. J.M. Kane Trucking. That's my college buddy. Uh, Joe, he's been there for a couple of them now. And with the, with the later date this year, who knows, maybe we'll see him again. Uh, next, next. Low Skills Knot Rods. Nick Beerley and Atwood. Y'all know Nick, the big yellow truck that we used year before last for the awning. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Hometown Market, Chris and Andrea, that's our, that's our local grocery store that works with Chris to feed y'all for the barbecue. They are, uh, but behind the scenes, they are very much so invested in this, and uh, they are a very big part of this event, so thanks to Chris and Andrea. Uh, Classic Performance and Repair, that's my new gig I got going on here, the new shop. Lopez Construction and Landscaping, Enrique, uh, he's been a sponsor forever. He's always been there for me. He's my contractor. Uh, he's back again. Uh, Goodland Machine and Performance, John Proviance, John, Dustin, Jake, Adam. Uh, uh, wow. All of them. I'm forgetting a lot of them. Uh, John's back again this year. I've talked to him on the phone. He actually just finished up my block. Did He did a block for Garrison. Uh, quick, fast, in a hurry. I believe Dustin did the work on that one. Thanks, guys. Uh, you killed it. That was that was a big thumbs up. Great big one. I know I threw I threw you guys completely under the bus on that in that phone call, and you still made it happen. Very much so appreciated. And I'm sure Mike could tell you the same thing were he on here. Uh, Calicrate Manufacturing. That's my other job. My machiner job. Tegan and Janice. Uh, in Wheeler and Johnson Body Shop. I don't think he was on the last list. Um, Johnson, Randy, my, my, some of y'all know the car, 69 four-speed GTO, a judge, a real judge. Um, sorry, Randy, I told you I was gonna make some kind of a smart remark and man, we've been friends a long time and there's just so damn many smart remarks, I can't single one out. So maybe next video I'll come up with a really good one for you. Um, thanks again, man, for coming on board for a spon and sponsoring the event. <clears throat> I know you're a Pontiac guy, but Pontiac is part of BOP and we're still the thin and herd. So I know you recognize that. Uh, really? That's about it. Uh, it, it I know, I hope that some, of, I know times are tough here. I know, I know in, I know it takes a lot of planning, uh, to attend something like this when realistically these cars are just toys for us. Um, we go out and we play with them because we want to and we want to have a good time. Uh, I've said for years that I don't want to be the biggest Buick event out there. I just want to be an option. Um, and I like being able to provide an option for the Buick racers out there. I hope some of y'all are planning now. Uh, to be able to attend. I look forward to seeing y'all that are there. If you can't come, I understand. And like I said, times are tough. Uh, fuel prices are going crazy and, and, and it's tough to pull a car to a race like this, for, uh, especially in the middle of the country. It's a long ways from everything. But for those of y'all that can make it, I'm looking forward to seeing you. I don't care if there's five cars or 50 cars, we're gonna have the Great Plains Challenge. We're going to race. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a barbecue. We're going to see friends that we haven't seen in a while. Hopefully, we'll make some new friends. So, I guess really highlight of the video, 
Flyers are out. The wind, the highlight of the day is the wind blowing in Kansas again. I think she's been at about 30 all day long. I don't know if you can hear that in the video. I hope not. But uh, it is uh, uh, highlight of the video, I guess. The highlight of the day, whatever you want to call it. Clint finished up our flyers yesterday. I posted them up. Copy them, print them, hang them up. Go to your convenience store, your grocery store, you know, whatever you got to do. Pass those out. You see a guy with a Buick car, give him one. Always looking forward to making new friends. Always welcome more new people into the event. I'm looking forward to it. It's getting to be that time. It's getting to be dark. It's time for me to go home, find some supper, relax, and, and, and get ready for tomorrow. That's all we can do. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all had a great day. Tomorrow will be better. Always is. See ya. Uh, wait, I, I, I think with the YouTube thing, you're supposed to hit like and subscribe and ring a bell or something. I don't, I don't know. I, I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great day.